making jokes and just making it lit. Sean, what do you think? I feel it's it's right. She brings some value, but the vibe counts too. So, thumbs up to Steph. Your fans are out here. <laughs> and thumbs up Nairobi too. You've, you've been on here hosting for a couple of hours. Like, I keep entering, checking out who's in there. I, I was in the water space. I saw Sean in there. I'm like, wow, wow, wow. Such a wonderful family. So, anyway, I'm Pac-Man. I'm a Ghanaian majoring in economics, now graduating, and I'm finding my feet in tech. So I want to start making my networks now, my connections now, letting it in public even before I start to get a job. So nice to meet you all. I can give a follow back. We can connect and stuff. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. Love y'all. Just had some stuff going on in the background. Love it. I mean, I, that's why I said we could do all three. We can have questions, we can have value, and we can have vibes. I don't know. You know, it doesn't have to be all or it could be in. So, uh, <laughs> I didn't take it crazy from, from Waldo. I just did what he was saying. And shout out to his space that he had um, with Janiyah, the tech expert. You know what I mean? Like, for the Nigerians and tech, like, because really, like, when we be up late at night, guess who, you know, is waking it up? And, you know, what well, he wakes the girls up. He's like, all right, I'm here for the vibes. And then he also brings value, too. So, you know, it, it's all a... Too spicy. All right, Enzo. What was spicy about that? Value, or are you just vibing? What's up? Yeah, bro. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nairobi, I salute you special. Thank you so much for having me here. Is 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 a whole is a whole new is a whole new uh I would like put how let describe it now. It's a whole new experience, you know, sharing uh such a to share such an amazing space with uh, great minds, with senior developers, movers and shakers, with numero uno of tech, you know, our situation. Yeah, um, uh, my contribution is this: uh, in as much in as much as we are trying to, you know, encourage and uh, sharpen uh, one another's uh, skill set, um, I would, I would, uh, I would rather suggest that if any of us here has an opening, or you have an internship program, or you have someone that knows someone that knows someone that can at least give some of us here, you know, that. Uh, you know, that first footing, because it's very important and vital in tech. You know, some persons may have had the basics. They may, have, they, they, may, they, they may have, they might have, you know, gone through the syntax, the divs, and what and what not have you. But if, if, if no job or if nothing is coming forward or coming through for them to sharpen their skill sets, the more, believe me, you, they would definitely, definitely feel dejected and low. Sorry, pardon my intonation. I am an African and I speak like an African. So I may not have your vibe. I may not have your intonations and all that. So please kindly share with us if you have any form of um opening around where you walk because like they say in my local palace, it is the rat in the house that will tell the rat outside that there's fish in the house. So you know if there is anything you can do to assist the tech community, all right? It will be highly appreciated. And Mr. Lawrence, I see you, bro. You know, I always rec recognize your presence each time I come across you in spaces. You, your, your story has been, has actually, actually, you know, uh, it elucidates. I, I, anyway, I'm not a linguist. I'm just a developer anyway. Pardon my grammatical errors and all that. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank nah, you. Thank no you, man. apologies, man. No apologies. We're not doing that. I was that. just like, about to say it's that. I yeah, was just, I love just it. tell Enzo. I love it. Don't and I wish ever Mordo was apologize. up here. Don't ever apologize for your accent, Enzo, please. Where are you from in Nigeria? 
Okay, yeah, I am. I am from uh, anyway. I'm from the Igbo stock, and uh, I'm okay. from I reside in the of TS6. Okay, okay. My husband is Igbo. He's from Enugu. Where are you from in Igbo land? Wonderful! Wow, wow. This is interesting. Okay, I'm from Abia State. Yes. Ah, okay. Well, I I'm, I don't have an answer to your question specifically, but what I wanted to say was, please don't ever apologize for your accent. We heard you clearly. You spoke well. You spoke eloquently. Please don't ever do that. Don't ever link. Don't ever apologize for your accent. Don't ever link whatever you know. Don't say, "Oh, I'm African." You know, like we are proudly African. We are proudly Nigerian, and we speak well. We speak intelligently. We speak eloquently. So please let that be the last time, at least, that I ever hear you apologize for your accent. Okay, you spoke well. It was clear, intelligent, impact. I mean, just everything was perfect, okay? So please, let that be the last time in your life that you apologize for your accent. Okay, brother? Okay, go ahead. I love it because y'all don't know how many people grabbed the mic to, to tell you that exact thing. Um, I think Ifo was about to tell you that and uh, Codename Blondu was about to tell you that as well. Go ahead. Uh, yes, so gross. I beg no fear at all at all. Be who you be. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I you gotta wait. You gotta wait. I'm done. Come on now. We can't even hear you. Hold on. Put your hand up so we can come to you next. All right. Whew. Go ahead, call name Londo. Hi, uh, can you hear me guys? Probably. Yeah, we hear you. Okay, but, um yeah, I was just just about to say, um speaking as an African myself. I don't think you should explain yourself and how you express yourself because not everyone is going to have the same background as you. So you speak how you need to and you um, say what you need to as long as it's respectful. So nobody needs to apologize for how they sound because not everyone, we don't expect everyone to sound the same way anywhere in the world, not just in the tech world. So Enzo, you're good. <laughs> you're good. But uh, with the mic here, I have a question, actually. So um, before even the hunt, I am part of the 100 devs class, and I wanted to ask, how do you, one, approach coffee chats? What exactly is expected? And then secondly, how do you know when you're actually looking for the job, what specifics are you supposed to be looking for in the job listings? when you're applying so that you know what exactly you'll be applying for. Yeah, those are my questions. I love that. Um, so, uh, sorry, my, my brain is starting to get fuzzy. It's getting about that time where we're almost 40, 24 hours up and I got three hours of sleep. Um, uh, can can y'all give me some, some wonderful hand raises to help? Uh, code name Londu. Uh, we're go trying to aim towards coffee chats, and I think that my connection cut out for the second question, but I can definitely speak towards coffee chats. Um, so we're just trying to get familiar. We're trying to make it so that in these 15 to 30 minutes, this person remembers me. I'm not asking for nothing except for those 15 to 30 minutes of their time, but in the next two to three months, I'm going to be looking for a job. And I'm hoping in these next two to three months, they remember me when I put out that tweet, when I when I put out that uh, LinkedIn message, when I when I yell into the void, when I grab the mic and say, hey, I'm ready for that job. They're going to say, yeah, I want to work with that person. I, I had a chat with them and I loved it. That's it try to make uh, as much as you can make that 30 minutes memorable that's it I'm not like trying to get a job for them I'm not trying to sell them anything I'm not trying to get sold anything I'm just trying to make a connection with somebody in the next 30 minutes so I'm latching on to anything that I could latch oh they're from uh, Nigeria, they're from uh, Detroit, wherever they're from, whatever they're doing in their lives, I'm writing it down, I'm taking note, 
and I'm bringing it up and we're going to chat about it. Um, it'd be, you know, that's it. Um, Steph knows. Steph is literally in these interviews talking about the weather. Like anything to make a connection um, because people don't buy resumes. They don't hire your LinkedIn. They're looking for real people. So show them that you're a real people and that you're the real person that they want to work with. That's it. That's it. Um, and if I can remember the, the second part of your question, I would love to answer that too. Um, Steph, do you, did you catch the second part of that question? My mind's a little... No, I was going to... I was going to ask him to repeat it. Can you, re- can you repeat the second part? Uh, so my second question is basically now when you are um, hunting for the job as we are currently doing, what um, specifics should, we, should you be looking for in the job listings so that you know that you're applying for the right thing? Okay, let me just do the coffee chat thing. And somebody else take one of the experts take the second part. Um, yeah, so I um uh I I don't I, like I have to, you know, preface that I don't and have not been through the hundred devs program. I've just seen people, you know, in the Twitter streets and um, you know, the, the stuff looks fire, right? Um, so informatively, or I call them like, they, I think like they call them informal conversation. I forgot what they call it. Anyways, I just be chittering and chattering with the girls, right? So if it's something that I'm interested in, then I reach out, um, uh, whether that's Twitter, whether that's LinkedIn. So for example, I had a conversation with somebody today that, um, works, um, because, you know, talk about the DevRelly girls that uh, is in DevRel, also is in developer Dell, and, you know, we so we already have that link. <clears throat> now, when I had the conversation with her, there was no, um, we, we already talked, right, in the, you know, typing situation. And then I went, you know, found out what she was doing, saw that. However, you can't get there's nothing like getting the actual experience from the person. So whatever it is that you're interested in. So um, what is it that, um, because there was a older black woman who worked at career services that told me um, in order, uh, what she said, in order for them to be interested, you have to be interesting. Now she was telling me I wasn't interesting and that's okay. <laughs> that's, you know, like that, that's fine. Like that is some good advice, right? Um, and, you know, it's one of those things where, like, you had the red dot on your forehead and, like, it still hits me every <laughs> every now and then. I'm like, oh, my gosh, she told me I was that interesting, right? So I really have to figure out a way to do that. But another thing is that when it comes to being interesting, like, the it actually goes on the other side, which is that what's interesting is for you to be interested. So you being interested in the person makes you interesting to them and makes it more of a memorable situation. So um, I was talking to her and we, um, yes, I, I, I do sometimes talk about the, the weather. It just depends, right? Like I, I really fill it out. Uh, what Lawrence calls it is rapport because I'm trying to um, get people on a, you know, people to people basis, right? This is not a transaction. Uh, what did, what did she call it? This is, um, it wasn't a transaction. It was, it was um, Black Woman in AI. Naroba, you remember what she said? The exact language is escaping me, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's not it's so it's not transactional, right? Like, you know, like we're just trying to develop rapport here, just you know, get to know people. But she had a very very succinct way of putting it that I can't remember right now. So, for example, I talked to her, and she actually was working in AI, right? And we talked about that. And then she joined developer Dell. I was like, oh, my God, this is so crazy, right? So whatever the piece of it is, and then make sure that the conversation flows naturally, right? So it's not a whole bunch of like, "Eh, eh, 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 eh." (laughs) you know, like, so having your Calendly, like, is is important because if somebody asks you for it, you know, like, you want to set up some time, like, then you need to, you know, be be ready, Um 
you know, they can argue about it on the timeline. You know, that's that's cool. But what's happening in the real world is that um, if you want to chat... In the then, real um, world! No, for real, though. I'm just saying that, like... Okay, in, and I see you spent some time on my calendar, Steph. I'm going to chat with you on Saturday, <laughs> period. Yeah. So, you know, um, for those who say I'm capping, you know, the cap is on the back. <laughs> yeah, it went out capping. So, uh, yeah, um... The the thing is that like I talked to her and she was like uh you know talk about the issues that you know were going on and from the data engineering side you know I was able to you know connect on that way and then from there and then she is actually based in pa Pakistan 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 how, how, yeah however she said it right and um that's why I didn't repeat it because if I can't say it correctly then um don't say it at all so that's why I didn't say it right. And so then I started talking about how um, I worked with a bunch of people from India, right? And that they were acting like it's some, you know, small community. And she said, you know, India versus everybody. And, you know, they're more qualified. We started talking about the, you know, like, we're just talking <laughs> on a on a, on a people to people basis. However, this is still like, you know, like, it's not like this is invaluable information, right? So now when it comes to... Um, this this follow up so like there's a bunch of a bunch of hits a bunch of hits then it's also like how can i help you so it's like okay so you need help over here you're doing this okay this is how you got into that okay let me see how i can help you with um uh, with what it is that i have i'm not asking you how i can help you like i i you know what i mean like i don't know how you can help me like just find something, do something, pick up a shovel, you know what I mean? Like, if you have a fork, pick up a fork, right? Like, just do something, right? And then people will just see, and they'll be appreciative that you are helping them, you know, along the way. So, um, but first you have to know what's going on, like, what are we doing? What are we building? What's, you know, what's happening? So, uh, and then you want to continue that relationship. And everyone isn't a continue relationship thing. Like, sometimes it's people where you, you know, have a you know one off but like with the cto where he was like uh do you mind if i cancel the meeting because uh my wife is having a baby <laughs> you know i was like uh of course like what um but you know then next thing you know when his son was born guess who was there your girl right and so now i was sitting there and like i think that's pretty doggone memorable and, um, but then, you know, whoever else he's connected to, this was it. Sometimes I shoot my shot too high, but, um, you know, there, there's that. So it, it doesn't have to be like, I, I'm trying to get something from you in this time. Like you can just try to get information. And at least from what I know that is on the checklist, um, if you're having, you know, multiple of these chats and then that way you can kind of get a feel of like, okay, this person, you know, like we vibe, you know, somebody else, you, you might not vibe or like, it might be like, okay, this is a technical thing. Like, for example, like the CTO, he wrote a book about um, systems design and software engineering, all that kind of stuff. So he sent it to me for free. Wonderful. Now it's on me to, to read the book, right? Give some feedback, right? Retweet the thing out, you know, talk about it to him, you know, like all that kind of stuff. Like, why would he give me the book for free? And then I just do nothing with it. That's absolutely um, crazy. So, uh, I mean, insane. I'm gonna stop saying that word. So that's wild. Uh, you know, like if somebody is doing something, you know, sending something that especially if it costs money, right? Uh, then uh, this is something and it's a uh, it's also you know that like resource intensive to write an entire book right so uh, it is it you know it just depends right so I gave you one you know that I had today where I was talking to somebody and we just we end up talking about um, the billion people in, in India and all this other kind of stuff but I also did learn how she made the transition into Debra from the data space even if it's you know AI right um, and so I got that and got that connection. Then um, I gave you another one where it was like, you know, a CTO and, you know, he was just like, do you mind if we cancel because of the baby? Right. So uh, it was important enough that he messaged me uh, on the way to the doggone labor room, which wild. So, um, yeah, I'm not that important. <laughs> you know, however, that is the kind of relationship that you want to at least a rapport that you want to develop 
where it's like people will, you know, reach out to you and they just get to know you on a um, person to person basis. And you may not, you know, you know, reach out to them or, you know, cash out on that or whatever you want to call it till till later or reconnect. But at least you have that connection. And then sometimes you can just meet with people on a regular basis. And then I know I started having so many regular meetings that people were like, girl, where are you? You know, tap on the wrist thing. And I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, you know, like, I'm supposed to be meeting with this VP on a regular thing on Thursday. Like, what is going on? I thought their calendar was busy. It's not that busy. They could find some time. So, uh, yeah, it just depends. Um, and I would, you know, be find something that you're interested in. So that way you you don't have to cap. That way you don't have to make up something. Because if you're actually interested in what's going on and in them, do some research, right? Find, you know, like, don't ask any questions that you can Google. Um, only at, like, in that 15 to, to 30 minutes, make sure that you use that time wisely and, um, and get some, get some, some value, some information, some, you know, person to person contact that you couldn't find through typing that you couldn't find through any other medium. So, uh, that is my suggestion on that. Uh, at this point, I'm like, maybe I should get off the spaces and just be doing that um, full time. But here I am. So <laughs> that's that. Thank you so much, Steph. So much value in that. Y'all, don't forget to not just listen to these spaces, but actually take action. All right, Ifo, you got your hand up. If he's still around, Ifo might not be around. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, my, my phone was exactly. being. Okay, perfect. Come on, friend. What you got? I'm just, um, just, just, just sharing love and uh, reminding people to be proud of who they are. And it's oh, hello. Good. And loving everything that's been shared in this space. Much, much love. Just listening to this as I'm go grinding through leak code. So keep, keep doing. Keep doing what you're doing, Nairobi and Sean, you all. And Steph, we love your vibes. We love everybody's vibes anyway. Most people's vibes in here are pretty good. The the, the shitty ones, Sean, usually kicks them out, so we appreciate that. Thank you all. Love you. Peace out. All right. I got to redo this branding situation because <laughs> apparently I'm known for vibes and not value, so I got to figure this out. We're going to fix that on Saturday. There we go. And I would like to add vibes is value, but they don't know. They don't know yet. They don't know. All right, y'all. Grab the mic. I don't care what you're calling it, whether you're calling it value, whether you're calling it questions, whether you're calling it vibes. I just need you to bring it. Grab the mic. I love it. And I know Nairobi was about to grab the mic. Go ahead. Bashir, who has come up a couple times and tried to speak, but I think might not have worked out. So thank you so much for joining us again, Bashir. Uh, let us know. What do you got? Five You're and... <laughs> and Thanks yeah. a lot. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I've been listening to uh, you guys and then with, for the great content and the tips that you've been giving. And then uh, I followed some of them and now I have an interview for a junior um, web dev. Now I would like to get your uh, tips how, how to go about the on-site interview. Thank you. First of all, beep, 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 beep. congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. Thank it, you. Tweet it so we can retweet it. <coughs> yeah. Thank you to all you guys. Thank you to everybody. Steph, Sean, everybody. Arit, uh, all those who have been talking, we've been listening. Okay. And Sean, uh, sorry for that. Even if we don't speak, at least we take note. And then we, we try to, to use them. So <laughs> thank you, everybody. Woo, woo, woo. Yes, we are so, so happy for you, fam. So happy for you. You are manifesting exactly what you dreamed. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Bashir is actually action 
taking the action. So happy. Okay. So uh, the question is, how can he prepare for his on-site interview? Um, he uh, has an interview for a junior dev position. What are some of the best thoughts that y'all have for how he can prepare? And this is on-site or is this just like a call? Like what? Is this the first interview? What What's going on? Well, I already had the first interview today. And he said, okay, so he invited me on site next week. Woo! So happy. That's so, um, that is amazing. Um, did he give you any information on it, what you should be prepared for? Because that on-site could mean that we're seeing a CTO and having a technical interview. Or that on-site could mean that we're just meeting the team and having lunch. So, like, well, we'll... I didn't know uh, what to ask as a question. He told me it's going to take uh, one or one and a half hour, the interview. Okay. Um, when is the interview? Do you have a couple of days or is it tomorrow? Next, no, next week, Tuesday. Okay. Um, okay. Um, we have a couple options. I would love some other people's, you know, thoughts and ideas. Um, because I am the biggest fan of asking what I should be prepared for. Like, I am the biggest fan. I do not like going into these uh, things blind. I do not uh, like walking into my days like an accident. I need to be prepared. And I'm asking them, what do I have to prepare for? Every single interview, every single step in the process, I'm asking, hey, next steps are coming. What should I be prepared for? Um, because honestly, it could be easy. You could already have the job. Can this could be just a formality, <laughs> or this could be a test. An well, SAT test. Go ahead. He told me. Sure. He told me that there are three more, uh, two more other people apart from me. So we are three. And then, yeah. That's good information. Definitely good information to have. Um, no, and you know just how many other folk are trying to get the position. But um, if you're one of three, that's really excellent odds as well. Um, so yes, uh, definitely follow Sean's advice. Um, if you haven't already, um, there's a, there's a very particular way. For, I don't know if I have the language with me right now, but um, there's a very particular way to ask how, like Sean said, how can I best prepare for this interview? Will it be a coding challenge? Will we, should I be prepared to talk about um, if this is a junior dev role, then I don't think that they will be talking about system design questions. Um, but uh, you can ask, uh, is it going to be a more of an architectural conversation, just a conversation about technology, or am I going to be whiteboarding, um, meaning coding on, on, a, on a screen um, with someone like pairing with you? Um, so uh, writing, so sending an email to whoever this person is and asking that can help you better prepare. And usually they'll give you an answer um, so that you can know if you have to, like Sean said, do some leak code, um, uh, data structures and algorithms questions, or if you're just going to be talking generally about tech. Um, or th another option is that they tell you, hey, walk us through one of your projects that you have built in the past. Um, and so you want to have that project ready um, to be walked through so you can walk through the code and you want to be familiar with the code as well. You want to remember it. Um, so ask for clarification um, to whoever you're speaking to. Ask them, is this going to be a coding whiteboard uh, interview? Are we just going to be talking generally about technical concepts or is this a, uh, a project walkthrough? And then any any information that you can provide uh, will be very helpful for me. Thank you so much. Signed your name. 
Um, and I'll, I'm happy to put that in a tweet below so that you can have the exact language. I know Sean always says I have that exact language, so I'm happy to put that below for you. Um, but to your question of like, how can you prepare? So once you know that, you'll you'll know how to prepare. But for each of those, um, for the project, of course, you want to go through your, your project, make sure you're aware of both the code that you wrote, but also um, uh, like how you could have made that project better. Um, how you could have improved the project and the code itself. Um, if you had more time, that's usually something that folk like to hear about. Um, if the route is going for, um, if it's going to be a whiteboarding and hard coding um, interview, then you of course want to do data structures and algorithms practice. So doing leak codes and what's called code wars. Um, those are just little algorithm practice problems that you can do to, to prepare you for whatever question that they ask you at that time. And then if it's just general technical concepts, then familiarizing yourself with um, all the various uh, forms of tech that you have used in your own past. And also, it's important to be honest about tech that you have not used. So if they ask you about, hey, have you ever written code in Perl? Um, what do you think about the technology? Um, if you have never written code in Perl, don't say yes, because then they will ask you more about it. Say, actually, I haven't. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to yet, but I'm really excited if that's a technology that this company uses. I would love to learn more about working in Perl. And so that'll be the answer. And people really value honesty, because when you're honest on the job, that means that you will be able to, um, uh, sorry, when you're honest on the job, that means that you're willing to learn, right? Rather than saying, oh, I'm just going to try and figure it out myself. No, you're, you're honest. That means you're going to learn. So great work. And um, that's all I have to say for that. Go ahead, Bashir. I know you had a comment. Okay, thanks. And uh, to add to what you just said, uh, exactly. He asked me the language. He asked me if I know, I, I know anything about Ruby. I, I told him, no, I never coded in Ruby. He said, okay, at least I can code it in JavaScript and front end. I said, yes. See, look at that. That honesty is going to get you very far. And so great job. Boom. Yeah. That's the trick. Um, I'm, I'm the type to do just enough research to know what technologies they use. And then I do just enough research so that I know two to three sentences so that I could tell them, no, I don't code in Ruby, but I know these things about Ruby and I'm eager to learn. And that usually gets me through. Yeah, that's I exactly uh, that is exactly what I told him. I told him that I don't know anything about Ruby, but if the job requires it, I'm, I'm open to, to learn it. You know, I'll, I'll also, when it comes to the language, um, I, I really do try not to say um, what I don't know, right? It'll come, like, it'll be obvious. But when they say, do you code in Ruby? My question is, how is Ruby used in this particular, you know, in your context at this company for this particular thing? I, I never, like, I, I just don't say those words, right? Like, uh, that's what I said. I just want to talk about the stuff that I do know. I don't want to talk about that, that I don't know. But um, you asking me random questions is like, you know, that's kind of weird. So I want to know what's the context and what's the reason behind you asking this question. So then, like, it's, it's you know, normally you don't want to, I don't, I don't know. Sometimes people say don't ask, answer a question with a question. However, um, this is contextual, so they just ask like like Ruby like that's just a a big thing, <laughs> right? So it's it's how they use it for back end. Why is this? Yeah, no, no, I I understand. But what I'm saying is that you want to know at this company why is this used? Um, what's the reason for this technology? And then the thing that you do know, say if you do know Node, um, then uh, you know have have anybody considered using Node? And why did you choose? Uh, Ruby over over Node versus Python, right? So now you're having a technical discussion about, you know, what is the business reason for choosing these technologies in this context? Because sometimes you'll find out that there's a, it's not a technical reason that they chose these uh, technologies. 
it's a business reason or it's just that the people that were there, that's what they knew. But um, it's really contextual because then you may be the person to uh, take the code from Ruby and wrote and and migrate it into Node, which is a really good opportunity, right? And you can you could talk about that, and you could build that as a MVP or, or whatever. But um, in that particular case, um, when they ask me a question like that, I. I um, that's what I said. I don't like to talk about stuff I don't know. <laughs> I do like to talk about what I do know. So um, why, you know, like, why did you choose this technology? And last time I talked to a recruiter, um, you know, they said, maybe I should know these things. And I'm like, yes, girl, you should. Um, so, yeah, that's all. That's all I do is um, is ask deeper questions into the business, because I want to make sure that I get everything I can out of this um, interview and find out what's going on in the technologies of this company and uh, and in that way. So then if it's time to, um, but yeah, also the when you talk about the next steps part, so sometimes they'll mention it, but uh, you can also mention it. So either way, you want to make sure that you hear those words, next steps, right? And also that you can uh, reach out to them for um, any questions that you may have. So these are questions that you have. <laughs> which is, hi, uh, you know, it was great talking to you about such and such and such, whatever y'all talked about, contextual, right? Um, then uh, I I had some time and I was, you know, to, to consider the position and I was wondering what does the technical assessment portion look like and how was it, you know, how can I best prepare for this position? I want to make sure that I'm, you know, contextual to adding value to the company, you know, technology, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, context, context, context. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's the question. And that's like two paragraphs and um, then, it, then it's over, you know, and then that way you get a response. You also have another touch point. So what's it, the marketing thing where it's like they don't remember you until like after seeing it three times or something like that. So then eventually they're going to see you three times because you're going to respond again, <laughs> right, uh, to that email. And you're going to say thank you for providing the, such, you know, the, the information. It's very helpful so that I can prepare for the next steps. And I'm looking forward to speaking to a hiring manager's name. If you don't know the hiring manager's name, find it out. So you can look them up on LinkedIn. And then you also go message the hiring manager on LinkedIn and say, hi, I'm looking, you know, I'm interviewing in the company and I'm wanting to know what, more about context, context, context. Don't ask no random question. Um, that's why you need to get context. So that way you hit them on both sides you're going through the process but while you're going through the process you also um reach the people on the other side so then the hiring manager is like oh okay well this person um you know they're they're looking forward to talking to you so then they will be internally saying uh what happened to um Bashir like what happened right because uh you message them and they and you're also in the process so and I'm just talking about like what I did uh, yesterday. So it's real quick. And I love that because if you, <clears throat> I saw your message. So I assume you just got out of the interview. Um, uh, make sure you're sending that follow up either later tonight or in the morning. Make sure you're sending that follow up asking for the next steps. Make sure you're sending those follow ups, y'all. Make sure that you they remember you. Like, like Steph said, those touch points are real. If you sent an email before, they saw you in the interview, that follow-up is your third touch point and could mean the difference. You just said that it was uh, between you and maybe two or three other people. That could be what puts you over, over the edge and gets that job. So make sure they know you're interested in this job. You're sending follow-ups. You're telling them these are the things I uh I loved about the interview I would love to know next steps to make sure I'm prepared for this next interview um yeah I loved everything Steph just said um plus one all right y'all go ahead Steph okay update y'all so I um okay I'm from Nairobi right <clears throat> so 
I sent him the message, you know, and I was, you know, that's what I said. I don't talk about what I don't know. But I, I took your advice and said, you know, let's chat, right? So he said, um, okay, I just sent it to you. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, uh, it'll just be easier. So you can see. And then um, and then I will tell you what I am going to add. And then you can, um, you know, put the spice on it. All right. That's no. it. DM coming soon. We're going to have a success story, Sean. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to get you on these job, So I can start getting referral bonuses and I get my first, uh, maybe my second? Is it my second one? Okay, so my this is what job. I'm doing too. Like, I feel like we should, look, let the, let's let the girls know. Let the people downstairs, let the people in the basement, let the people that we out here um, not sleeping know for. Um, you know, while I'm, you know, Chipotle with my DoorDash. Look, so, because I just saw the PayPal thing, shout out to uh, uh, Spicy Boots, right? And shout out to Christina. Um, I'm calling her by her full name. And she just posted the job, two jobs at PayPal, right? Um, we follow each other. She came up through here. Uh, Nakima works over there. And um, so I think that we should, and by I think, I mean, this is a movement. We're going to hashtag the hunt, right? Because when we see something, when we see a job out here in these Twitter streets, we hashtag the hunt. Um, and the dude who did um, Tech is Hiring, I know him, Chad. And uh, and he really just would go through everybody who's somebody who was um you know posted that they was looking for a job. Your man was out here hustling, hustling, hustling. He also is in Jamaica, so the um the time zone hours is you know all kinds of crazies. But he was doing it. Now he got a whole Twitter page, and now it's just regular, and people are adding tech is hiring, you know, like w without it. So you know, I really seen that movement. So <clears throat> and that's just him. Like that wasn't even a group of people. Right. Um, also, I know him from Virtual Coffee. Shout out to uh, Becca. And uh, so what we do is we hashtag the hunt. Uh, if you want to see how I'm doing it, um, I'm going to post it at the top. Also, if you want to do the PayPal job, um, then t say that say that um, Nakima referred you so she can get that bonus. There you go. What job? I didn't even see it. I'm about to post it at the top. Hold on. Give me a second. Well, I don't even know the role. I don't know what's going on, but I'm applying, y'all. I'm applying. We watch on. We grab the mic. Period. Hell, um, I don't even know what stage we on. I don't know what event the name is for, but I'm grabbing the mic. I'm saying I'm going to let you finish. But I'm grabbing the mic. That's facts. That's facts. Just like that other guy who came in this space said, he saw one bullet point and he's he applied. Okay? Y'all, y'all, you see one bullet point on that thing, on that job requ requirement, you apply. Stop playing. The rest of them are doing it and they getting the jobs. So we ain't, we ain't doing this, oh, I got to meet every single requirement no more. Nah, nah, nah. We just coming at it. But also we working smart, not harder. So we'll talk about that later. From the bench. <laughs> I just like when Lawrence says it. <laughs> it's so much better when he says it. But yeah, from the bench. <laughs> that be getting me. It's too funny. Okay, check your DM. I didn't do the DM right, but like you can see what I said. Yeah, I got you. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what time it is. Grab the mic. What are y'all looking to talk about? We got questions um all the questions what y'all got y'all only got a few more minutes with me and then you're gonna have to have sean as your host because i am getting out of here okay i gotta eat some food i haven't like taken care of myself and since this viral tweet went off so i gotta go take care of myself y'all so what y'all got what y'all need if you have any questions for yo me, what was that flex it like you know what the price of fame the the crown is so heavy and since <laughs> i got this virality i just <laughs> you know and here i am sending my time with you peasants <laughs> <laughs> oh my god stuff you too funny too funny 
Oh my gosh. Hilarious. Not even, no flex of that one. No, just the reality. Just telling y'all the reality of what it's been. It's been wild. It's been wild. But yeah, appreciate y'all. Yeah, grab the mic, y'all. What what questions do y'all have? Women in tech negotiations or general how tech questions. And this is when I start yelling at people. Start getting spicy. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. You just saved them. You just saved them. Y'all should be thanking Daniel. Y'all should be sending him some follows, some likes. Because y'all was just about to get yelled at. Thank you, Daniel. Dang, Daniel. Why are you not coming up? What's, what's good with your connection? Go ahead, Daniel. What's up? Hey, sorry if I have a bad connection. Uh, hi, everybody. I have an update for Steph and a question. Um, so I applied to this, like, Peacock job for an email position. And, like, I had the interview. But now you guys got me thinking, like, how can I follow up? Because the interview is yesterday. And how can I follow up when I don't have the manager's actual email? I've been communicating with, like, a middle person from the office. So... How could I reach out, like, to follow up? Thank you. Excellent question, Daniel. Um, so you can either, I think the, like, the, the least uh, desired way is just to send an email to that middle person and say, hey, can you forward this to my interviewer by name of X? Um, I just wanted to thank them. Um, so that's method number one. Method number two, um, you're part of 100 devs, uh, so you'll probably already know about, I think it's hunter.io for looking up people's uh, work emails. Um, it's not always 100% accurate, but sometimes if they don't have the exact person that you're looking for, you can kind of guess the format of the email and just send that to different versions of the format and hope that it lands. Um, of course, that's if, if their email is listed, definitely use hunter.io. But if it's not, then it's more of a gamble. Um, uh, and if you can find them on LinkedIn, you can also reach out and thank them there. So lots of different options. Um, uh, I don't think there's a best one because you don't have their exact email, but um, those, are, that's, those are the approaches that I would take if I was in your shoes <laughs> sorry <laughs> cool thank you very much no i appreciate it thanks absolutely i love it and yeah that's a part of the next steps when hold on asking. daniel what you say again i was trying to multitask i'm not as good as them with the multitasking <laughs> my bad what you say can you say it again please yeah, absolutely. So if I was in Daniel's shoes and I didn't have the email of the person that I had my interview with, then I would... I mean, uh, what was the question? What did you say? Oh, oh then Daniel got it. Because I heard your response. I just didn't hear what he said. Oh, I was sorry. Oh, sorry. I was asking, um, how, how can you follow up um, after an interview when you don't have uh, the email of the person that you actually interviewed with? because I've been communicating with like um, someone from the office that is like a middle person. So how did you get the meeting? Where was it? Yeah, hold on, Dave. How did you have the meeting? Oh, uh, because someone from, like, uh, from the office was like, oh, hey, here's uh, like a Google Calendar invite. And then they're like, you're going to be meeting with so-and-so. And then I met with them, but like, I don't have the actual, like, hiring manager's email. So I've just been communicating with, like, someone from NBC. Okay, got you. Oh, you said Peacock. Okay, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing some interesting stuff over there. Um, So, yeah, the person who um was that intermediary, um, they're the one who reached out. So I would ask them. Also, it's another, you know, reason to talk to somebody else again. Um, as another touch point, you know, whole three things. And so it's like, hey, you know, I had a great conversation with the person that you mentioned. However, I didn't get their email address. Can you please send it to me? And they should have it because they're the ones who um, reached out to you, you know? 
that's another great option. Thank you. Yeah. And then last but not least, um, for those in the back that's having that interview, make sure that you're prioritizing that follow-up and asking them what would be the best way to follow up with them. Usually they'll just give you their email. Um, But yeah, any of those were great. Um, I do know some people who aren't, you know, necessarily comfortable giving other people's emails out. Um, But feel free to ask and then also feel free to have that, you know, follow up ready to just send it to them. Hopefully they'll they'll definitely just send it, send it down. Um, But yeah, all of those were great. All of those were great advice. Love it, y'all. Starting the starting to feel it. Starting to catch the vibes. Yeah, Sean. Um, that's why you gotta eat those sandwiches. <laughs> We're just for the sandwiches. Yeah. You gotta uh keep your blood sugar together. You don't have to have diabetes, um, you know, you don't have to have the sugars to uh keep your stuff regulated. You gotta like maybe need some orange juice, you know what I mean? A little bit of Skittles, you know what I mean, whatever it takes. To, to keep stuff together, absolutely. But people, the the workout girls, they um they use blood sugar as well as a way to um you know see what they should eat, how they should eat. So yeah, you definitely want to make sure you're eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. <laughs> keep your metabolism together, especially with this absolutely insane situation that is going on. Which I mean, far be it for me to think I was going to be here again today from ladies not yesterday <laughs> but here we are for free my god this is crazy i need to be executing on this stuff madalena's here um madalena's here um Sorry, was getting some wonderful messages about some sandwiches people are sending me because yet again, let me let me put that up there because y'all. You know what? I'm mad though. I'm just bringing this back. The Why people are you said mad? in your mention, no, the people in your mentions that are DMing you saying that I'm up here capping for what? <laughs> for why? That makes no sense. Like, what do I gain by even talking about data engineering up in here? That's crazy. I'm going to switch okay, I'm gonna switch my little portfolio to my LinkedIn instead. All right. Give me a second. All right. Um, Madalena. Hello. Hi, Frank. Okay. So, I'm sorry I disappeared earlier. Um, we I had all kinds of, like, technical issues you know, whatever it was, I had to shut off my phone, try to figure out, you know, whatever. Hopefully it's working. If not, I'm going to have to, you know, um, try to figure out how to craft a nicely worded letter to Twitter about themselves. And I do mean nice, not, not my, uh, version of nice because I want to stay, you know, here. So, you know, I gotta be good. <laughs> so, Steph, um, I DM'd you, but I, you know, um, I don't know if you got it or whatever. Um, so you can't say nobody DMs you. <laughs> Girl, that don't count. Continue. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, chili. <laughs> like, <brr. laughs> No, what I'm saying is that, um, I'm not talking about the space girl. I know. I'm so good. Man, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm messing with you. Listen, I'm messing with yeah. you. I have no, to, but I, I you bring up a real good point. Like, you know, like, hit dogs holler. So I'm hollering. Um, <laughs> The thing, no, I'm saying, like, because if I'm like, okay, well, you know, DM me and I'll help you, and, you know, 
you know, I, I guess they just go to Sean's um, DMs and just say I'm capping. So, uh, you know what I mean? But I'm like, no, nah, like I really will help you. Listen, I'm not trying to be funny and I'm going to be spicy, straight up spicy, okay? Sometimes I, you know, your way kind of, you know, I'm like, oh, excuse me. But I've developed a serious appreciation for you after I got past the, you know, because like you said before, and you've pointed out a whole bunch of things. And let me tell you, whoever's doing that, then okay, well, I guess they're not understanding. They're not listening the way I had to like put some of my own shit to the side so that I could fully grasp what you were saying and how you're saying it. And at the end of the day, it's not that you're capping, you know your shit, you're on point, and you're trying to help people. We just got to put ourselves in the place to receive the help and to receive the knowledge and the understanding. That's all it is. And some of us aren't in that place. I've arrived at that place where I get the whole, when you just shoot it out straight. Like you said, you know, you've said it a couple of uh, times. You do not code switch and you don't, you know, you don't pretty things up. You're not putting lipstick on a pig at the end of the day. That's it. Okay, let's talk about it. So, um, yeah, it's not, it's not the, uh, just don't, right? Um, I, I talked about this, which is that, um, not having the ability to do it. Like, I can only, uh, hold on to that voice, um, for a second. And I'm not kidding. Like, I really did cry. Like, because it was like, I'm going to be homeless because I don't have the ability to maneuver in this world the way that I need to because I don't have I because I can't hold on to this separate um this separate tone, this separate intonation. There's a there's a whole lot of things like getting out of this African American vernacular English. And I'm I'm around it, right? I'm 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 growing up in it. And however when it comes to the workplace, it's like I'm supposed to now go to city council and make a presentation about how they need to improve the bus systems, right? Which is like so crazy that I'm doing this in high school, but I'm on the youth city council. I'm part of the board. However, I'm like, I don't have the opportunity. Like, you know, I don't have the, the communication skills, the, you know, the survival skills, at least that's, that's the way that I'm seeing it. Right. The only people that are surviving and it's either that or you go to the military, but I'm not old enough to go to the military yet. However, I still need to eat. I still need to, you know, make money in some way. And yes, the youth city council did pay me. So, um, yeah, so being able to, to do that. So that was before I knew that Ted had talks, but, um, yeah, it, it's just like, uh, man, like this is, this is something. And I didn't even know what the word code switch was. I just knew, you know, that my mom switched up her tone when she found out that I was on the phone. <laughs> you know, she was like, oh, whatever, girl, what is it? You know, right? Like, so um, the way that she answered the phone, you know, hello, this is, you know, song from the Exodus Center. You know, like, so it's like, you know, that kind of thing. And I was like, oh, I cannot do that. Like, I can't hold on to it, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, a lot of stuff that goes into it. And they're from a linguistic standpoint that I did learn. Like, it, it just, it just, it's just really deep. So it's not um, intentional. And if I could, I really, really would. Um, and I think that I would be better off for it. Now, when it comes to um, communication style, you know, the ranting and the rambling. Uh, however, you know, it's really tangential and it's also anecdotal so that's what's happening with that however i'm open to uh suggestions for improvement you know like right now we just have criticisms and so criticisms are not um constructive right i know that they call it constructive criticism but it's not uh so if anybody uh, you know, like, so when Sean says 30, 60 seconds, that's helpful. I can do 30, 60 seconds, right? Uh, and then it's like, oh, I did not know that it was possible, right? However, I can, you know, like, 
you know, say less, I could say less. However, on some topics, it's like, okay, there's a, there just is a depth of, you know, experience and, and knowledge and, and then just situations and, you know, like stories that's there. So I can't pick, especially when people ask general questions, I don't know which direction to go in. So I'm going down these, uh, you know, this road, but for the person that asked the question, but I'm still aware that there is an entire room of people that are listening and also, you know, doing whatever it is that they're doing. So maybe something is for them in that, in that story and, and showing up in the best way that I can. So if anybody has any, um, you know, tips, I'm, I'm with it, but, um, that's how, that's, that's how it gets down. Now, Mm -hmm. uh, for those who say I'm confrontational, um, okay. Okay. Sounds okay. I will, I will say this. Okay. Um, with your stories, um, I have an absolute appreciation for that because I take notes. Okay. And that helps me to figure out my direction and to know listen you guys are laying the found uh, the you know you Nairobi Nakima you know you guys are laying down the foundation for the rest of us to move along the stuff that you have been through is teaching us you know because you're imparting gems the wisdom and stuff like that and not for nothing i'm not gonna sit there if i'm not feeling somebody where um i can't like i can't relate i'm not gonna be you know i was excited to see you earlier when you were awake i'm not gonna sit there and be like yo steph is here why because if i'm not you know i'm not feeling you i'm not you know there's something going on i'm not gonna be saying that no no. And like I said, I'm not, listen, I'm not going to front. At first, I had to sit there and wait with you and see where you were and what was up. And eventually, you know, I was able to pick up the rhythm and say, okay, okay, I got this. And I'm understanding where she's coming from and what's going on. And not for nothing. I even say, you know, I'll tell people, I'll say, go to her. She knows her shit. End the story point blank. You want help? She's open to help out. It's just also she doesn't suffer fools lightly. I respect that. Okay, so so I never said none of that. I just, you know, trying to <laughs> moderate the room, right? Like, because there's other no, people no, here. No, but I, no, no, I just let me just say one thing. Let me just say one thing. Hold on, girl, before you, you might get muted. Um, all right, so the other thing is that I know this, that um, for those people who like to take notes and they like to uh, capture information in bullet point form, I know that what I'm doing here on the spaces, I'm that I'm not your girl for that. <laughs> you know, like I'm I'm not a bullet points girl, right? In in this particular situation. So if if we have a topic, now I will already come with the bullet points in that way. However, that's not what the the way that I speak and the way that I give context. I try to do more of that here. Because you can get bullet points and notes from the timeline and um, from the YouTubes and from all these other different places and sources. That's all they're doing is, is bullet points and, and threads and things. So what I'm doing is using this medium in a way that you would not be able to get the context in any other form than hearing me speak about it. So um, that's that on that. Um, Sean, what's up? I would just like to say that when when I say thirty to sixty seconds, Steph, you you come out with the bullet points. You 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 know what the assignment is. You it's just about practicing that. I always tell people, even if you think you can't do it, even if you think you're not that person, I swear to you, none of us came out the womb that person. I wasn't that person. Oh, so you're trying to say I need to practice too? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm in go. That's Apparently what this is. We're talking about practice. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. So I would say we all need practice for all practicing. Even though some people come out and it look like it's game time and they professional out here, we all just practicing out here. So wherever you are in that journey, keep practicing, keep practicing. Yes, we are talking about practice. So yeah, keep going, keep going. Like eventually you'll notice that you're doing it, you're doing it, and you're doing it well. So yeah, that's it. Like... Literally, that's it. One thing that I learned, take those pauses. Think about what you're about to say. And then say less. That's how you come up with a report. Okay, I'm going to say something real quick to you, and it's going to be less. You really took lyrics off of a song. If you know, you know. That's all I got to (laughs) say. When you when you see some bars, literally, don't rewrite the bars. Don't fix what's not broke. Use it. And that's it. What'd you say, Nairobi? We have one more um, person who has their hand up. Naoma, how are you? You got some value? Got a question? Um, I forgot the last thing because that's my brain right now. But welcome. You can also be <laughs> vibing. Apparently, that's what I do. So uh, go for it. So uh, hi. Um, I want to know: Is there anyone who has like a template for the email, like um, to get back to the interviewers? Because I want to send like a rejoinder. Like, hey, what's up? Uh, thank you for the interview and all. I would like to know what steps, the feedback, and uh, what I need to improve on. Like, something that makes it more official. Kind of. Nairobi. But what you just said was pretty, pretty, like, spot on. The only thing I would add is, like, right before you... you um asked for the next steps is add something in there that is pertinent to that uh that interview so like say i don't know i loved how you know you were starting that that uh store down in chicago um i would love to know what was next steps for the interview you know give them some spark to know that hey i was paying attention during during this hour and a half and i have one sentence to prove it Here's my sentence, but this is what I I need to know. So you keep that repertoire going, uh, as Steph would say it. Uh, rapport, sorry. You keep that rapport going. That's Lawrence. Apparently, we're, we listen, we're artists. We're great artists. We're stealing. Apparently, it's Lawrence. Apparently, we're telling, we're telling on ourselves. We're stealing from Lawrence right now. Go give him a like. Give him a follow. Uh, we're building that rapport with Lawrence. So make sure that you're also building that rapport. Make sure that you have at least one sentence that tells them, "Hey, I remember uh what do you say the the uh the the bass on the wall, the the trout on the wall." He said something about the fish on the wall. Make sure that you're paying attention to yep. something. Go ahead, Steph. Uh it's the mackerel. The yeah. mackerel, that's the word. Listen, I'm not a fisherman. I don't remember the fish. I'm, but if I had saw the fish on the wall, I would have did some some homework. I would have did my homework and came back with the gems about this mackerel. Please, Lawrence, get up here and tell them about that mackerel that we're supposed to be remembering. So make sure that you have one sentence, whatever we're talking about. Like before you jump into technical, make sure that you're talking about something that makes this person human, that makes this person alive. Make sure that you're catching on to that. And then you say, hey, I love that mackerel. Is there anything I can do to get prepared for the next interview? But yeah, I'm going to let let Lauren say it in, in his own words. Go ahead, Lauren. Yes, two things on my mind. Number one, Steph is the brains of the building. Her memory is impeccable. Just, she just, I'm not going to say the word. She just crapped on you. Like, not fish, mackerel. Get it right. 
<laughs> Y'all don't love Steph. There's something wrong with you. Just just learn. Just learn. You got to learn her. Anyway, the second thing was to uh, Neoma. Um, if you do come across like the perfect, well-written template, um, throw it in the garbage. I would much rather hear from your heart and your sincerity uh, than a you know perfectly written English perfect prose template that makes you sound like a robot. The way you put it earlier, just fix your English a little bit. You don't want to put bad prose or you have misspellings or anything or they think you don't know how to communicate. But the way you put it was fine. Here's who I am. Here's what I want to know. Thank you. End. That's it. Give yourself credit. All right. Thank you. Though my friends, when I, when I, uh, when I, um, write emails or write notes like that and send to my friends they're like jesus christ you you sound as though you're putting a gun to their head like i need the answers right now so that's why i asked if i could get like a template to sound less demanding kind of gotcha thank that you. clarification so that's a question of tone and there are different tones we can use in different circumstances so feel free to shoot me like a paragraph and I'll help you with tone. That's a specific thing. It doesn't mean you don't know how to write an email. It just means your tone isn't matching the situation. It's much like this room right here, since we were talking about communication, you know, it's a unique opportunity to be able to speak to multiple people. And one of the challenges is particularly in a forum like this, having a single person ask a question, but multiple people listening. And so as all of us are working together to become more effective communicators, one of the things you want to do, is consider how can I both give specific and general information at the same time in a package that can be received by the most number of people. That's hard. That is not easy. And it's something like many times, even if like, like right now when I speak, this is just a hack. As I'm speaking to you, I'm scrolling down. And I'm scrolling down. I'm checking for emojis. I'm checking for faces because I want to consider the fact that more than just you are listening. And even if I figured out the mode that you receive information, you're an individual. And so if I'm going to take my communication skills to the next level as an individual, Lawrence now, not anybody else, I'm talking about Lawrence, I have to consider Pashal down in the down in the audience. I have to consider Faith the Great down in the basement, him in the basement, word to Steph. And as I consider them, I can adjust my package, my communication package in such a way that the m maximum number of people can benefit. If that's my goal. Now, if that's not my goal, if I want to just talk to you, I can specifically talk to you. We can be done. I'll take like 10 seconds. But we all have different goals as speakers. And one of my goals is whenever I do touch the mic, I want to touch as many people as possible. That's just a personal goal. I can't put that on anybody else. That's not anyone else's responsibility. That's Lawrence's responsibility to self. Hope it helps you out. I love that. Because honestly, I always tell my speakers, you could just talk to Neo Neoma. I'll talk to the rest of the room. But Lawrence does my job for me. I don't even have to speak. He's going to talk to the rest of the room as well. So I could just say, yeah, next question. Like, I'm, I don't have to tell you to grab the mic. Lawrence just told you, like, you got to grab the mic and remember the macro on the wall. So, like, you know what you need to do. You knew, You know exactly what... The next steps are, I'm going to just shut up and um, wait till he's not in the room so I can say grab the mic. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, go ahead, Nairobi, and then we'll continue. Nah, yeah, y'all got like, y'all got 10 minutes to grab this mic. 10 minutes. Make it happen. Now's your time. Grab that mic, y'all. Stop playing games. Stop playing games. Get this value. See, see, when you be up late, you do this, all of a sudden, the patients start running thin. <laughs> That's when you start saying it like Sean with the grab the mic. <laughs> <laughs> with that growl. <laughs> when he said exactly, that. <laughs> exactly. Grab the mic like Yo, what's going on here? This is not a podcast. Oh, yeah. They're already talking about me, so let me stop. Yeah, you got to say it with your chest. All right, y'all. Um, we're almost done. Like, we're going to come back tomorrow. Like, we, you guys are only getting these 24-hour uh, spaces because we're trying to practice. Yeah, I said it. We're talking about practice for 
eventually getting 24-7, 365 spaces, um, just trying to see what that would look like and how I could possibly make this consistent. Um, oh, yeah. Iris, what's up? What's up, Iris? It's not that Iris. Type, it's uh, not it's Iris. Iris. Oh, it's not it's Iris? symbolic. Right? Oh, okay, my bad. No, no, no. Yo, absolutely. This is an Iris production. So, I, you know, when I speak on the uh, Tech Misfits, I can talk about the Tech Misfits pro- pro- prog- um, project, and it's an, it's out of... Hold on, mind. hold on. Before you do that, before you do that, before you do that, no, you do that no, let's... No. Uh, let's we, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta give some some context uh, to to what's going on, uh, you know, because this is this definitely isn't a, a shill spot, so we gotta be, you know, just kind of mindful of of the room and of the area. Because uh, I also plan on going to the uh, the space today, but I had no idea that the space yesterday would run into today. So here I am, still here. Uh, so one. Uh, you know, if you want to give some background as to what Black NFT art is and what is the, um, you know, the goal of that community, and then we could start talking about maybe tech misfits, maybe not, right? But what's the, you know, why should people care? And right now, what we're talking about is getting a job in tech and how to let people just get in the door, however you get in the door. In the front door, in the side door, break through the window, whatever it is, uh, just get in. So um, that's that's what it is. I know the Twitter Spaces are run by the NFT girlies, but um, and and I would be up in there. However, uh, for this particular space, we just got to keep it contextual into um, into the room and uh, and and the audience. So, uh, yeah, if you want to talk about Black NFT art, the um, the community, and then how people can get involved and why does it matter for helping you get a job in tech. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Yo, uh, I'm symbolic behind this, and I... Um, oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> okay, now nah, yeah, I know who it is. All right. Respect, respects. No, like I absolutely think all of what you said. I was not. I don't even believe in shilling. Like, I mean, it's just, ugh. Like when someone just jumps on, it's just like, oh, I'm just like gonna shift the whole conversation. Now, I didn't hear the previous conversation, so I really appreciate what you said in terms of, like, you know, giving some context. I saw the room and I was like, yo. The hunt, women in women in tech negotiations. Grab the mic. I'm I, and, and and we just got off of the tech misfits room, and that's the reason. I when I saw that, I said, "Man, I need to jump on." Like, yo, that's the reason why I came. I'm like, yo, this is what this is all about. So, um, as far as black NFT art, what I would say is the best thing I could say is how i found it it was a colombian brethren of mine a friend of mine hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on before you do that right let me let me let me help you symbolic listen to me listen to me i'm telling you i know the space right and i don't want you to lose the people and i don't want you to get kicked off the stage so so tell the people what it is right and how they can get involved and how they can get a job in tech with the community, like what, what you know, like and, what's the context? And all right, I'll think the Nairobi's short, I'll been the here short all day and she mm-hmm. only has five minutes. Go ahead, got you, got you. All right, oh, yeah, so you have 30 to 60 seconds. I forgot about that part, so yeah, you gotta make it quick. 60 seconds, got you. I found black NFT art, um, and it, it changed the internet for me because I was able to connect with art and like uh the with twitter in a different way where it's just like i'm finding great beautiful art and and people a a community that supports that's how i jumped into it now going to tech misfits we um the the this project came about where with peach pod which is an amazing artist it's not just about the art there is an app 
and the app is about hold on you guys remember 30 60 seconds so tell them about the networking in part like tell them about the job part tell them about the community please 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 <laughs> that's where i'm going that's where i'm going it's an app that if you, with you right now you can get the free nft I mean, if you get in early, there are a limited amount, but you can get the free NFT, which taps you in. That is the key in, that allows you to like to get into this app. And this app is about skills development. And by the way, the NFT itself represents all of humanity. It is not including if you have patch, a patchy face in this way, it's still beautiful. But that's just the NFT. The NFT is the key into the community where you can get skills development. You can get mentorship. You can get um, if you're on the founder or or uh, your business side, if you have your business, you can find the, the, the talent that you need. And that is what this is about. It's not just an NFT. It's about this NFT as a key to a community that a network that allows you like on both sides just to connect and build opportunity for people. I'm done. Cool. So, um, you know, if you want more information, uh, connect with Tech Misfits, connect with uh, Symbolic, connect with uh, Cosmo Iris. I think that's what her um, at is. If you want to make a tweet, um, that way people can see the um, the entire community and what um, the, the, you know, because right now they just see the, the pictures and it's like, mm. I don't know nothing about NFTs, right? But, you know, that way they can, you know, find out what the real benefit is behind um, this technology and that it really is about community building and um, and uplifting other people. So if you can make a tweet right quick or I'll find one of the tweets that exists, you make a choice. Uh, we'll see who's fastest and, uh, and we'll pin it to the top because uh, we just tired. That's it. Love it. I'm gonna pin. I'm gonna pin the um the the wait list because the wait list is the way to get the free um NFT. You know it's limited, but I want I'm I'm out here trying to get people to get in early to get the free NFT. So I'm gonna pin that. I heard okay. you, but people got to know what it is too. All right, we're done. All right. All right, awesome. Love it. Thank you, Steph. Thank you so much. All right, fam. We got three more hands and one last person. Who requested that is it i'm closing it out after these folk all right so hacks and then um aredoyen aredoyen and then daniel and then isaiah and that's it it is closed out let's go what you got for us hacks yeah thanks nairobi um thanks again um well i think he's he's like the third person speaking about nfts in here today right maybe you um, the host should consider maybe opening a room or a day for this topic or this the space to be spoken about. Yeah, I mean your NFTs. Yeah, Yo, and, um, you wanna... um, you make the thing we support. Um, this is what's happening here. We already tired over here doing this, but there's nothing wrong with you making a space. Shout out to Wodo, right? He wanted to talk about Nigerians getting remote jobs in tech. And then um, the community pulled up in support. So you make the space, ain't nothing wrong with that. And then um, you can get the tech misfits, you get symbolic, you know, maybe get Iris to, you know, pull up the whole community. Um, and then, you know, obviously hit me on the side and it's a, you know, it's a vibe. So rather than, you know, switching up what's going on here, it's about, you know, it's not, you know, it's not or, it's and. So, uh, you do it, and then um, you start pushing, and we start pushing with you. So make the space yeah, and you know, make it happen. You know, put the little tweet out. Let us know what's going on, and um, we add it to the calendar, and we show up. If it's not during the space. But, <laughs> yeah, I got That's a question it. actually. I want to give credit to Madeline and Ifo Ikede. Yeah, they've been showing up in Wodo. Yeah, they're doing well, like, they keep sharing valuable content, right? Yeah. So my my question is that, what do you think? Is it possible to land an internship without an experience? Like, I mean, a remote internship, right? And would you recommend for a start, like, for a startup, for someone who has literally no experience in the professional 
base so look out for remote internships rather than looking out for in-person ones that they can get some attention and some let's say some lessons from the senior devs so is it recommendable to look out for remote internships when you don't have any job experience and is it possible to land one that's my question thank you absolutely hacks and great question the answer is absolutely yes because there you have even if you don't have job experience for a lot of these jobs even for entry level positions junior positions probably mid as well um, people get positions mid and have no experience um, it's about the projects that you've created your portfolio as well what have you done um, what have you coded people usually want to see that and once they see the projects um, that you've created then they're like okay yeah, yeah yeah like this person can do can do this for uh, for the internship at the um, because it's the same work so you definitely can an excellent question I love that answer because I always say, yes, that experience can put you over the top. But as entry level, they already know you don't got the experience. You don't got the experience. But that could put you over the top. Like we said before, some people are just coming in with vibes. Some people only got one bullet point. And they get in the job. They shoot in front of the bench. That could be you. Period. That could be you. So it'd be great if, you know, you're completely qualified. You got all of the bullet points. That'd be great, I guess. But there's some people shooting from the bench and making it. So shoot but your you shot. But you got to shoot, though. Yeah, there we go. Shoot your shot. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, yo. Thanks, yo. Love it. All right, Daniel. We got two more shots to shoot. Go ahead, Daniel. Yeah, good morning from here. Um, I I think I don't know if we are closing now, but I want to ask if um, if we want to close this session. When next we are gonna have the next session? Like which day and so that I will know. All right, the next day is tomorrow, Friday, nine p.m. I'll be right back doing this again. I just need a good night's sleep. I need to be able to be in bed by midnight. Right now it's 8.43. I need to be able to get off this, go eat something, get ready for bed so that I could get ready, so I could be asleep early, so I could be well rested and not on three hours of sleep like I am today. I need more than three hours. I would love seven. I would love eight. But right now we ain't getting no sponsors. I'm still out here, you know, taking meetings from these corporate sponsors out here trying to steal our souls, literally trying to steal the soul of the community for a couple of dollops. So, um, so are you short, are you shooting right now? Because um, right now it's um, one forty-four a.m. here in Nigeria. So can if I can go, that? sorry, what you just said? No, I'm asking if you are going to shut down right now. Already yeah, after, the, these, after these two people speaking, we're going to shut down. Okay. Let me go to sleep. It's really late here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. We'll see you in the next one. I love it. Yeah, it's late in, in Nigeria. Even though it's early here, I would love to get an early night's sleep. All right. Out of the door, oh, do you see the, uh, the tweet at the top from PayPal? <laughs> Oh, yeah, y'all. Okay, from PayPal. We're building a new exciting. So, it's two positions up there from Christina. I don't know if Nikita yeah, wants to talk about it. I didn't is even see the, the tweet. Christina it's the third posted? one. Tech is hiring 100 devs and the hunt. Is it only devs? Or, yeah, it's probably only devs. It says While devs. y'all look at that, we have one. Another um, the left. and then we'll get to, we'll get to that. Cool. Hopefully. Yeah. Not Hold on, I, I can hear you, hear what you were saying, girl. It was breaking up, but I get it. You Dang. said move yeah. along. We felt, <laughs> felt the energy. It was the uh, the what the the um. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming. That's so funny. Okay. Um, I didn't know you. What's your question, Pam? 
Hey, hi everyone. Shout out to Steph and Sean and Arabi. You guys are the best. Okay, so I have this um, question here. Yeah. It is on negotiation. Yeah, so I've had a series of um, series of jobs I've done career career wise. Of I am a cinematographer, photographer, but I'm recently into digital art and NFT art, and uh, alongside um, UI UX. But I've always had this particular problem. Yeah, is uh, is on negotiation. You know, people do not really want to pay what you worth. And when you mention what you worth, most people most likely you know, would, would go off lane with you and maybe hear you and try to play some psychological prank on you. I just don't know. What, what do you think the best way to undo such, um, such uh, task is negotiation? At a moment, my connection cut out. Y'all, y'all got this, or because I didn't hear the question. I thought that was for the negotiation bulldog. You know what I mean? Like, cause, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Appreciate you, Steph. Um, okay, so so what exactly happened for the for the negotiation? Okay, what I was trying to say was, uh, okay, I, I recently had uh, a discussion with someone who yeah. who needs my um assistance for. UI UX design. Okay. And then for every time I have deals like that and I mention my price, yep. there's always this each during discussions and then the most likely do want to pay up to what I want. Although I think that's what I'm worth. That's what the job is worth. But mm-hmm. I most times don't get to be paid that and I most times lose the, lose the gig. I do not want to succumb to you know, being being uh so cheap and affordable to them when I can deliver like a top a top quality job. No why they would always take the job to someone le- less uh, maybe less quality. So how do I and you know I can't keep I can't keep denying jobs like that. What do you advise I do instead of Yeah, great point. Um what to do instead. Um so I think that you Right. For me, I, I'm always about trying to stay firm on price um, as much as you can, of course. Um, of course, like we understand, like communities, folk can't can't always pay the prices that we have. Some folk will tell you, well, the price is the price and, um, you know, get with it or, or keep it moving. Um, but uh, if you don't want to continue lowering your price, then I think the only... Thing that you can do is not right um uh, there are people who can pay your price and who will pay your price and who will pay more who will pay a lot more for your services um so when you are having conversations with these folk um i think that you know these you know you know your community the best um oh yeah he's over there. um you know your community the best um and you'll go down to whatever price you feel comfortable going down to but if you are going past what you're not comfortable going down to then don't go past it um yes it is at a risk of losing the losing the um the contract um but you have to find out like what what am i willing to walk away from as folks say all the time what am i what price am i willing to walk away from i'm not going to go lower than this and i'm willing to walk away to get what i need to get and to to um you know to get further clients who can so um as always like putting out into the twitterverse can also get you more clients so put out that tweet that you know, you're looking for clients and that will get you folk, maybe some, some, um, folk who, who got money, money, you feel me? Um, but I think that, yeah, you have to decide at what price are you going to walk away and, and sticking with that. And then if you feel like, damn, I'm walking away too much, then you can lower your price to whatever next you feel more comfortable with. I hope that's helpful. Uh, boom. And then here's a resource, seancharles.com slash price. Click on the right. middle one. It's gonna you just give over you... there. What'd you say? <laughs> you just make that. What'd you say? Did you just make that? Yeah, literally just made that. Um, <laughs> <Of course. laughs> um the point is, yo, 
the middle one is going to be the resource on, hey, if if you have a client that uh, says your price is too high, remember this. If they're saying that they want a video for four thousand dollars, I mean, your your video is worth four thousand dollars and they're only willing to pay a thousand dollars for that video. Make a shorter video. You don't have to meet their deliverable if they're not willing to meet your price. Listen to that's that. That's the that's the the gem of that video is that hey, they want a video. Your videos are worth four four thousand dollars. They only got a thousand dollars. Hey, make a shorter video. And then second, maybe let's say it's the fam. Say, hey, I'm willing to do it for this price, but I'm gonna need you to be the best referral in the world i need you to go on my linkedin write a recommendation i need you to go on my twitter on my everything and write a recommendation so that i could go get some uh, more clients and matter of fact you're gonna tell them that i paid you that you paid four thousand dollars because that's what i'm charging you and then giving you a discount so i'm gonna need some activism on your account because I'm give I'm doing you a favor. Go ahead, Steph. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is where you can uh, leverage content creation, right? Like you um, have something that's visual, right? So you have something that's visual, and like I saw it said, creating visual realities. You got a link there, and um. You know, like, whenever somebody says that they, they do design and stuff, then I just, you know, I don't know. I just want to see pictures. <laughs> you know, this this is coming from a stranger on the internet, right? Uh, you know, to be clear. So, um, I'm just saying, right, like, so just as a, you know, user, you know, stranger on the internet, then I'm like, all right, cool. So, you do design stuff, you know, so I just want to see pictures. And um, then if you could talk about the pictures, uh, people are also interested in stories. So you tell a story about the pictures, right? So then, um, because I think the other part, which is which is leverage, right? Like, so if you're saying that like, okay, this is this is worth this, but like it's, it's also, um, you know, not trying to pull and convince somebody of your value when you're there talking about the price. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's not when you want to do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like they should, uh, you know, you want to have the pull and the push, right? So you do want to have the things that you go after, but you also want to have some way for people to come to you, right? Like just organically, right? And, and whatever the space is, and especially since you have a visual space. So you should be on Behance. You got um, uh, alternative realities, right? Like uh, uh, creating visual realities, right? Like, you, you know, sounds cute. Like it, it should be all over. Like I should go to LinkedIn. I should be seeing pictures. I should go to the Behance. I should see pictures. I should go to the portfolio. I should see pictures. I should be on your Twitter. I should see pictures. You following people with pictures and all that kind of stuff. I just saw some words and stuff. And um, uh, apparently people said they don't like the way that um, I'm speaking, but stranger on the internet. <clears throat> so, you know, uh, take it uh, how you feel. And um, yeah, so that's the thing is that like, cause there's people who have like really good like visuals and I'm like, I still remember a home girl that went, was working on the farm and was making these beautiful HTML. I'm talking about home girl was doing it with HTML and CSS and she did 100 days of code and she did nothing but sheep stuff. And I'm telling you the way that I followed like I follow, like, and I was like, "Yo, what happened to Ellie?" Right? Like, for real, right? Like, it's just it's a thing that happens. So then, like, when it comes to your your value, right? Like, you know, now you're talking about it. You know, there when it's like, okay, well, this is what I'm worth, and they don't even have anything to to see, or you know, we're talking about you know hypotheticals. You know, we're talking about. Um, you know, we're not, we're not talking about anything real, but like you can go ahead and, and show your portfolio. You can show your designs. So then that way you have a, you can start to create a funnel, you know, you know, search that on know, slash marketing. <laughs> um, 
I'm really just making it up. That's not but, a thing. Um, That's yeah, not yeah, a thing. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's not gonna make that one. But yeah, so I mean, if you gave me a link, I'd make it. But I don't have a link for. Yeah, there's just too much. There's, there's a lot of what stuff that, that. that goes into that. But yeah, so I'm about uh, to just, just make it the same as price. Go ahead, it's the same <laughs> as price now. Go ahead, there you go. They should tell you about the funnels over there too with the um with that guy. So um and also the fact that I've seen him over and over again, right? Like same dude, right? Like just his face, like. And I'm like, okay, he must be doing something, right? I have no idea, but like, it seems cool. So if I was gonna go to design, I would go to the dude um, w- with that face, like because I just, you know, consistently seeing it. So people just want to see um, the pictures, and then that way, when you're talking about um, the price, people already, you know, they don't have to dig, dig, dig to find your value and you know what it is that you do. Like that's, you know, like then that's extra work, right? Like, that's friction. And you don't want to have friction. Like, you want to have a frictionless situation. Like, it shouldn't be hard to hire you. It shouldn't be hard to try to find what the value is. You want to make it real, real easy, right? So, um, yeah, like, showing the pictures. like, And people who aren't even, um, like, I might know somebody who's doing design, and it's like, which I do, and it's like, okay, hey, check out his stuff. But right now, I don't have nothing to say, hey, check out. <laughs> you, you know, like, like, for real, for real. Because I, you know, like, I, I know that this site is there, but, like, the, you know, you just want to make it easy, right? Like, your cover image should, should be nice. Like, Sean is on his, you know, design game with Canva, and, and he already got a cover image, and, you know, and he's not a designer, but it's, you know, it's very clear like what's going on over there there's um the software engineers you know um some of the dev rally girls you know like they just say this is what i talk about right and and that's it (laughs) you know like so if you were looking for something else you know like then 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 go somewhere else but these are the things that i talk about and and that's it and you can go over canva make you one just because you can do something doesn't mean you have to right like it doesn't make sense so Um, And if you're a designer using Canva, like, no problem with that. Like, use your design skills and, you know, Illustrator and, you know, I don't know, After Effects, whatever you do, right, Uh, for for that situation. Um, But also, like, you know, let us know what you use. Like, let us know about the story. Like, I think that, um, I think Dan Petty is really good at that. Um, and especially when you talked about the intersection of the space that you're interested in. So uh, I'll DM you him in case you don't know who he is. And what's up, Symbolic? Come back with your account. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jack. I appreciate all you guys have said. Thanks. I love it. And then Isaiah was the last person right now, Ruby. Yeah, Isaiah has something I think you know at his last hand. And I know Daniel. Yeah. Daniel oh, already man. had his chance. Oh. You can't keep putting your hands up. We had four hands. You you got your chance. Isaiah's the last person. Go ahead, Isaiah. Do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Shout out to um, the, the the hosts, and um, thank you for this opportunity. And so this is an update from um, Saturday where I complained about um, my situation, which was the fear of um, applying for jobs <clears throat> because of rejection. And um, I was challenged by um, Lawrence to, you know, um, apply for a job within 24 hours. And also, um, Sean made some, um, some observations concerning my LinkedIn and uh, my Twitter account which I have made corrections to. And also, I have um, I applied for that job. Um, since then, till now, I've applied for about five jobs. Um, but yesterday, in um, one of the Twitter spaces I attended, I saw that um, and there's something called resume, um, resume um, score, score, something like that. So, Actually, what it does is that it scores your resume. So when I I tried using it and I saw that my resume was not as in, the score was very bad. 
I think I had is it twenty over over hundred, and then I figured I saw that um probably the way I converted my resume from um Word to PDF was very bad, so um I don't know if probably there are two or three people I can just send my resume to and then probably go through it um probably say one or two to experienced people so that i know what i'm doing wrong and what i should fix before reconverting it this time in a proper way because i think that is where um, i'm getting it wrong because if um i think i believe i have the skills like the jobs i applied to you know we're asking for react um developer that can that's skilled with react js next um typescript node.js and the rest and I, I i i can do all these things but i i don't know i just want to you know i just need that help for uh, in that aspect that is the first question the second question is um in tweeting i've not been i've not been comfortable with tweeting because um what i would like to tweet on is just maybe probably what i'm learning for example I was learning um, TypeScript this week, so I don't know if I should tweet on that because I've not seen um, dev developers tweeting on, you know, um, what they like teaching, what they already know or what they are learning. They just talk about their life and all that. So if you can just give me, you know, like a tip on what exactly should I tweet on this thing that I'm learning? Is it okay to tweet about it? Those are my two questions. Thank you. I hit the second one. Yes, do it. Just do it. Put it out. I would love to see it. That's it. There's no, there's no, like, tips. Just do it. Write it. Exactly what you just said. Like, you could have wrote exactly that question that you wrote, like, that you just came up and asked me. You could have tweeted that. And some people would have liked it. Some people re retweeted it. Do that. Like, it doesn't matter. The same way you said some developers are coming up and talking about their cats like please just do it like you don't have to get lawrence's or daniel's advice on what to tweet they're not going to tweet the same thing you're going to tweet just tweet it there's going to be people who just not going to like it there's going to be people who love it just do it boom lawrence provides some value for homie Hey, I want to congratulate Isaiah. I don't know how many of y'all remember him from the other day. He was the guy that was uh, literally in fear of applying. Now he's applied to multiple jobs and came back to give us the feedback. That's what I want to hear on the hunt. Oh, my God. Come in, get the gems, go do the thing, and then come back and report to us so we can congratulate you and high five you. So Isaiah is right now the model. Now, unfortunately, I suck because Isaiah, I mentioned some things to you about resume. And it seems like every time I mention to a single person, send me a DM, 20 people DM me. And so yours is like lost in a bunch. I do see your resume. I will get to it tonight, which I know is probably tomorrow morning for you. I will see it tonight, but I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. Main thing is I want to congratulate you. Continue to do what you're doing. That's it. Absolutely love it. Absolutely. Go ahead, Isaiah. Yeah, thank you very much, um, Lawrence. Um, and um, I'm very grateful about that. But still, I will need probably one or two more people. You know, it, it's it's best to get you know this kind of um, this kind of thing from more than one person. You know, Lawrence will have his advice, and then I'll get other advices from from others, so that I can just you know make a perfect or probably close to perfect resume. Then I can keep applying. I plan to apply to ten jobs this week. Then probably from next week, pushing more. Then update my portfolio website, you know, then my GitHub, then, you know, just go hard on applied. I'm trying to get a job in one month time. That is my goal. So any help I can get, I'll be glad to. Go ahead, Isaiah. I see you, boy. I see you. I live for it. Thank you. Uh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> okay. I appreciate um I appreciate you Lawrence for for bringing that up because I forgot about that when we were when we were talking about it and it really was like we're talking about that whole you know anxiety piece and you know all of that like analysis paralysis and you know all of these things and um and everybody that Lawrence gave assignments to don't necessarily understand the assignment um so I said um you know 
Terminator. And so, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, remember the mess. Um, and but f- to come back from like I am scared of this and and not sure to like, okay, I got some momentum and you know I've already applied and I'm gonna apply for more. I'm tweaking my resume and I'm trying to get a job this month. You know, like 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 that's a you talk about a level up. Like I don't know. Like we need a level up uh, soundboard. <laughs> you know, like 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 what's the level up sound? Because I mean, I, I don't know. Like do we do the clapping thing? Like that's you know, like that's a that's a different level. I was like, expecting spicy boots to come in, out with the the random the random sound. Probably at work. Probably you know handling I'm life. Driving. I'm driving. Yep, so handling I'm life. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Love it. Go ahead, finish it up, Steph. And then she flexed on us with the hundred. Oh my god! Yo. <laughs> so Y'all don't uh, don't space and drive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Warning. I'm at a red light. I'm dead. Hunted. Yo, Isaiah. Yo, Isaiah. This is your theme song. This is your theme song, Isaiah. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Five, four, three, two, hey! three. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Let's go. Let's go. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. Let's go. Enthusiastic, Lauren. I love it. Y'all. Are y'all twerking on us? Just me, like, oh my not god, just you. Lauren. I'm so hyped. Like, that's the music. Like, for, like, yes. yo, come on, that's the that's the theme song. I'm it adding is, it. Baby. I'm adding it to the hype. Uh, Can I the hype playlist? That bounce. Oh, Nolans, come on, baby. Real quick, because I remember Isaiah, and oh my freaking god, I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. All right, Lawrence, one time, thank play the music again. Right quick, right quick, right quick, right <laughs> quick. Oh, shoot. Come on, come on, come on, make it quick. <laughs> Welcome to the hunt, baby. We shutting it down. 2022. Get your level up. Let's go. Get ready. Get ready. Your part is coming. Your job is coming. Get ready. Count down. Let's go. Let's go. Five, four, Three, two, one. That's it. Okay, that's the theme song, baby. Like, I told you, Lawrence come through with the MGM vibe, the Lion's Gate. And I need that playlist for that, for that, and whatever you're doing with that MGM background, I need that too for my resets. I don't know what's going on with it. It's too fire. You need to send me that. Send me that link. Need to send me that link. Is it just my phone hot or y'all's too? Oh my god, spicy. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, y'all. Too spicy. Uh, I like to. I would, I would like. I like to say thank you to everyone for your support. Um, please, I'll still need those two people. If you can uh, volunteer to just look at my resume, please. I'll yeah, be I so happy. You. No, Isaiah, tweet it out. Right, tweet it out. Put the link. We retweet it. You know what I mean? You know the vibes. Okay. We got you. We got you. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, okay. I'll do that. I love y'all. Um, and we would love to keep going through hands. Y'all keep raising your hands. Not Nairobi literally has a job she has to get back to. Yeah. And we're, I'm, we're, I'm done. <laughs> we're 10 it's minutes been, over. This is, yeah, we're an hour over. <laughs> This is 24 hours over. I don't know what y'all talking about. Also that. That's also <laughs> yeah, that. also that. Yeah, y'all, but y'all yeah. got way too much time, way too many gems. Matter of fact, and I don't think we have. The problem is we also don't have way too many retweets and likes 
on that sponsor link at the top. Because I would love to keep doing this, but I can't have Nairobi, Steph, Lawrence, Spicy Boots, Madalena, all of the wonderful people I have on stage doing this for free, even though they're happy to do it for free. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who said that? Oh, <laughs> yo. Spicy take. Spicy take. That's not ha- uh, spicy. Hashtag pay black women. It's, okay, hashtag, it's time. Hashtag pay them. Please. Please, y'all. It's right at the top. All that money goes to them. Is it at the top? Why isn't it at the top? Um, But yeah, it should be there. It's there. It is it's there. there. I added it. Um, but yeah, y'all, we have the marks. Once mm-hmm. we get, listen, if if my wonderful interviews went well, I'm hoping that we literally got halfway there already. Like we're 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 literally in in the first sixty days, we're already we're already halfway there. I'm hoping. But either way, you're the, the this community is what makes it amazing. Press the buttons, press the likes, press the retweets, because that means these black women get paid. These underrepresented communities, they get paid. So make sure that they get paid. If you got some value, share some value, retweet some value, like some value, because that's all we giving up here. Straight value. Yeah, plus go to Nairobi's um, tweet, you know, the viral sensation. Uh, I'm retweet, retweet it again. I like it, like it again. It's your annual, Please, y'all. It's your regular notice. Please, Understand y'all. the assignment. Please, Press the y'all. buttons. Press the buttons. Matter of fact, that one's also up there. Follow her. She needs two more followers to hit AK. Come on, folks. <laughs> Follow Nairobi. Yo, Lawrence, where are you getting this? Send me the sound. Send me the soundboard. What is going on? Thanks. I love it. I love it. He's out here wilding. I told you, Lionsgate, MGM, hiding like hiding uh, all the gems from me. <laughs> hiding like stashing them. He's being a gem dragon right now. Ain't sharing any of those gems with me. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the links, Lawrence. I'm waiting. But anyway, I'm w- and I'm also waiting on y'all in the listener section. Boom, AK. That's what I wanted to see before we went out. Oh, it thank happened. Thank y'all. I appreciate thank y'all. y'all. And then sweet. thank y'all again. I love us for real. Mm, same. Same, same, y'all same. Y'all are amazing. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yo, AK <laughs> on the dot, baby. Um, Girl, put out a tweet so we could sell it, do an AK celebration. Excited. So we could retweet it, unretweet it, like it, you know what I mean? I don't have no problem. Uh, all right. I just want to get appreciation to every single person who's been in this space, who has given their value, who has asked a question and provided some value to other people by asking that question, because that is monumental work and you are appreciated. Know that this is your family. We will rock and ride with you and for you for your entire journey, whether you are in tech or out. So understand that we got your back and we will always have you back. And we are so grateful for you coming today. So. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for, for rocking with me today as the as the um what's the interim host of the hunt. <laughs> interim. Is interim. that what it says or it just says host? Because I think it just says host. Okay. Let them know. Come on, uh, the host of the hunt. Thank y'all for joining us for this women in tech negotiations edition. Uh, a 24 hour space, but I only did a few of those hours, but still. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. And we will see y'all for some real bulldog negotiations on Monday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we get into the real nitty-gritty negotiations and prepare you to be the bulldog negotiator that we know you about to be. Get that your family, y'all. That's right, Spicy, that's right. All right, come on. 
So excited to have y'all. Yo, the up. sounds are on point, baby. <laughs> you already know it. I love it. All right. I love y'all. I cannot wait to see you all again soon. Thank you to my wonderful co-hosts, Steph and the Sean Basquiat, the Sean Charles. It has been just a pleasure being with y'all. And I'll see y'all soon. I love it. Thanks. Let's go. Still on the hunt. Getting some jobs in tech. You got questions. We got answers. In the next one, I want to see you grab the mic. We'll see you next time. Love y'all.